Hey, welcome back to my subs that may be watching me on YouTube. Welcome back to my subs my followers on Facebook or anywhere else you guys may be watching me. I am Brandon Nagley. Today is um Wednesday, April 17th, guys, 2024. It's about what 3:52 p.m. Again, me Brandon Nagley. If you're watching on Facebook, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do so by looking up Brandon, B-R-A-N-D-O-M, Corey, C-O-R-Y, not C-O-R-E-Y, guys. A lot of people get my name mixed up, even though they look right at my YouTube um, channel's name, you know. Um, and then Nagley, N-A-G-L-E-Y. Again, my YouTube, for anybody watching on Facebook, is Brandon. Corey Nagley, and um, anybody watching on YouTube, my Facebook page is this called Brandon Nagley. Okay, I, I had to use the whole name Brandon Corey Nagley, my full name, um, you know, my first and last and middle name, due to I'm heavily censored, as many of you guys know. I've spoken about that many times. You know, how the how they love to censor me on YouTube and so on and other platforms. Anybody new to my channel, simply I show the signs in the heavens at Yeshua. Yeshua is Jesus Christ's Hebrew name. He also goes by the name of Yehoshua or Jesus Christos in Greek. He goes by many different names or simply in the English translation. Okay, his name is Jesus, okay? Just ask all the people that have died in real near-death experiences, brain and heart dead, and have gone to a real hell and a real heaven, especially by the millions, those who, you know, anybody can look up heaven and hell, Jesus, near-death experiences, okay, or NDEs. And you'll learn, because I've heard so many say, oh, you're not saved, or you can't be saved if, if you call on the name of Jesus. You gotta say it this way. You gotta say it this way. No, that's not how it works, guys, okay? Listen to all those who have clinically died, meaning clinical death, which is when your brain stops and it dies, not just your heart. And again, I'm sorry, guys, most know this other phone I'm looking at here that I'm going to be showing you stuff on. I'm recording from my main phone, looking at another phone, my backup phone, okay, that I got evidence on. But yeah, many, many who have died and gone to a very real hell with real demons, with real fire, with real pits, with real cubes that people are in and real... Uh, prison, ancient prison bars and cells that people are in will tell you that when they called on the name of Jesus Christ, they were saved out of hell. And, you know, many of them were saved, you know, had, had angels show up and, and take them out. A majority of them had Jesus pull them out of hell. After they called on what? On the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Christ, okay? They called on that name Jesus specifically. So as I always tell my followers, no matter what you're watching me on Facebook or YouTube, stop arguing over his names, Christians, okay? What's important for anybody new to my channel, I show the signs, number one, I show the signs in the heavens that issue with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christos in Greek, the signs that issue with Jesus warned to be seen before his second coming. Specifically, the planet X, also called Nemesis, um, the Planet X or Nemesis system, or what I call personally the Biblical Wormwood system, because Planet X is a brown dwarf star, Earth's twin sun, that's separate from Nibiru, which actually has a much older name, as Nibiru is broken into chunks with two volcanic plumes that look like wings that the ancient Egyptians used to put on their walls and into their hier you know, hieroglyphs, so on. Or what others call the sun disk, all right? I believe that, that to be Nibiru with the two wings. Now, planet X, the destroyer has a deep black magnetic hole, as I've shown down my posts and my videos, so on. Whether you're watching me on Facebook or YouTube, you can see that. And especially at the end of my videos, I always put a picture, like a map, showing you how... Um, Planet X is coming up from under the Earth, and on that map, it shows the massive telescope, one of the main ones, watching in South, you know, in the Antarctica region. Um, that's one of the main places. Also, one of the other main places is on Mount Graham, where they used the Vatican took over Holy Land of first, you know, the first peoples out there, what you call Native American. They, the Jesuits, which you know, Jes the 
the Jesuits, which are not real Catholic, had stolen that land on top of Mount Graham, which was a place that the first peoples knew that portals had opened, so on, that these other beings, in reality, fallen angels, not aliens, but interdimensional fallen angels come through those things. And it's not by accident that the Vatican put up a telescope called Lucifer Telescope, okay, on Mount Graham. And they even admitted as Tom Horn, you know, one of my favorite Bible prophecy teachers and theologians that had passed not too long ago. You know, I loved his teachings and I, I listened to him. I studied, I heard him for years, learned a lot from him and from so many others that know scripture and know about what's going on with what our government's doing, know about what they're hiding, so on. And Tom Horn actually spoke to the Jesuit priests that are in charge of this Lucifer telescope. And he had asked him, what are you looking for? Well, you know, one thing, main thing is they're looking for is they're looking for Planet X, also called Biblical Wormwood of Revelation chapter 8 in the Bible, also known as the destroyer in both Old and New Testaments in the Bible, the same destroyer that God used to bring on the 10 biblical plagues, not only to Egypt in Moses' time, it's spoken of in the book of Exodus, okay? The same destroyer that, you know, God told Moses, have the people put the the uh, blood over your doors, you know, because at that time, the Lord Jesus Yeshua had not died for mankind's sins yet, okay? So they had to shed the blood of an animal to put over their doorposts. This is, you know, the timing when Jesus, or uh, Jesus, when Moses freed the Hebrew or Jewish slaves out of Pharaoh's grip out of Egypt, and God kept hardening Pharaoh's heart. Every time Pharaoh would say no, God hardened Pharaoh's heart. You know, Moses said, let my people go, the Hebrew Jewish slaves, you know, that Pharaoh had charge over him. And as you know, all the 10 biblical plagues that came from the destroyer, which is planet X, or his twin son, a brown dwarf star, separate from Nibiru, the comet planet, as the main Top insiders have told you guys this for years, but yet people keep calling Nibiru and Planet X the same thing. They're not the same thing, guys, okay? Nibiru is on the farthest edge of the Nemesis or Planet X or Biblical Wormwood system. Sorry if I'm shaky today, guys. I, I feel like crap. I've got a horrible chest cold right now. And my heart has been messing up terribly ever since the solar, you know, the biblical solar eclipse of 2017. And, and, you know, I was first thinking before that eclipse, by the way, that, you know, what's really passing the sun? Is it really the moon? And then I saw a picture that somebody had lit up, you know, because I was in the path of totality. It was a very biblical solar eclipse, right? And only one person could put out a picture when they lightened up their picture. You could actually see the moon in front of the sun. You know, because I was thinking at first, well, what is it? Is it Planet X or, it, or is it the moon? Because Planet X has, or Planet X system bodies and possibly even Planet X has already eclipsed our sun multiple times on NASA's own SOHO imagery that looks at the sun, looks at the corona of the sun, so on, okay? But then there's other pictures I noticed where people caught and it does not look like the moon passing in front. So, I, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe... Planet X could have eclipsed somewhere, okay, in certain places that had seen it. Because in certain pictures, you just can see it. You can see there's no craters on a so-called moon. You can see it's like uh, roughy type edge, you know, type body that was in front of the sun, but no, uh, yeah, in front of the sun, but no moon craters, okay. Um well, as I was saying, God used Planet X, the biblical destroyer, right, to bring those ten biblical plagues. It not only affected Egypt, guys, it affected the whole world at that time. As every ancient civilization had recorded and given Planet X a name at that time. They all called it different names. You know, the Celtics called it Thor's Hammer. I believe that was from them. Another group called it the Frightener, right? It's also called the Perturber. Ancient Egyptians um, in the Colburn Bible, both the slaves and the rich wealthy, which the Colburn Bible is not a Bible. It's just a uh, book of records, right, of what occurred during that time. Anybody can find it on YouTube, the whole audio book, or anybody can look it up online, where the ancient rich elites of Egypt back at that time actually wrote down what the destroyer brought 
what it looked like, you know, what it did. It said, you know, they said it had like snake-like fingers coming down from it or something like that. And that's the same reason today why waters and skies are turning blood red globally, guys. is due to the fact that Planet X, and by the way, it's also called the Fiery Red Dragon of Revelation chapter 12, that will cast one-third of the stars and ancient new stars to be as planets, moons, um, meteors, asteroids, comets, and asteroid debris, so, and fireballs, okay? And we know that the dragon... Or sorry, the fiery red dragon in Revelation 12 is Planet X. Now, there's also the, the regular dragon in Revelation 12, and that's a representation of Satan, right? So don't get the two mixed up. Fiery red dragon, Planet X, and the regular dragon, Satan, okay? And the fiery red dragon, just like I've seen in seven fireball dreams, I believe are from Christ, as, as thousands have seen fireball, you know, uh, different other prophetic dreams, like I had my multiple prophecy dreams, not including my dream seeing Yeshua Jesus and the light pouring from his face, as John the Revelator saw in, in Revelation chapter 1 and described um, Christ's countenance as being, or his facial features as being like the sun, and just like people will say the same thing in death, out, out of his face comes light. Why is that? That's exactly what I saw in my dream. I've, I've spoken on many times. Years ago, I had a dream. I walked into a tree, and I saw, I knew the tree to be this, um, the tree of life, a representation of the tree of life that's in heaven. I remember in the dream, Yeshua Jesus was standing up on the Sorry if I'm shaky, guys. As I said, I'm really uncomfortable. For those complaining, guys, you must understand, okay, I'm trying to do the, do my best while feel, feeling like poop. Right now, I'm being on the floor because if I sit on the bed, I'm going to be all, way all over the place, way worse than now, okay? So anybody, if this is too shaky for you, then don't watch. I'm just going to be honest, guys. Don't watch. But I'm trying my hardest, even though I've been, you know, it's been such a tough week, guys. Um... You know, dealing with family stuff, stuff like that, with my parents and stuff like that. And um, and you guys know my mother has a tumor, so, you know, her coughing is getting worse and stuff due to her, I believe, from her tumor. So we're trying to find a way to get that out as sooner than they're planning in August to do that for her. But, they're, you know, we're trying to get that done sooner. Okay, especially I'm trying to have them get it done sooner, knowing that, you know, our lights might not, you know, might not be on much longer. Because we are under a threat of cyber attacks right now, guys, from multiple countries. Just like in the propaganda movie, Leave the World Behind, right? Made by the same man that's getting ready to return as global leader. I don't have to say much more on that. I've already proven that and showed that many times, not including I've seen the Antichrist in dreams. I feel from crisis, as millions of others worldwide have told you who's returning. Not Trump, not Kushner, not any king. One man, the same man that it says in the 17th century Iranian his Islamic Hadith said a tall black man would rule and reign with the strongest army on earth. Well, there's only one tall black man the mainstream media has a love affair with. The, the only same black man that they put on the time magazine cover that says um the god of all things right as they made him look like the destroyer sheba with his arms out and stuff on the time magazine right another magazine on time magazine they called him the coming messiah right just as there's so many other things i've showed guys it's not even funny but i've spoken on that too many times that's not for today okay but anyways Planet X, as I said, is called the Destroyer, biblically, in the Old and New Testaments. It's called Wormwood of Revelation chapter 8. The Fiery Red Dragon in Revelation chapter 12. And yes, guys, it's at Earth's doorstep right now. It's causing chaos, not just on Earth, but on every planet and every moon in our solar system. Okay, all the planets and moons in our solar system, that's something that those people that push global warming won't tell you, right? Excuse me, they will not tell you that every planet in our solar system is in chaos right now, climate and weather-wise. Okay, so I showed the signs in the heavens that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, warned to be seen. 
before a second coming, specifically the Planet X system, and I also showed the signs on the Earth here and there that Yeshua Jesus warned would be seen before a second coming. To open up the video, guys, how this year's going so far for me, let me open it up with this lady, sweet woman right here that's going to play the flute for you guys, okay? <laughs> You know, what's really sad and hilarious is, okay, like, can't this lady get up on her own? This is, I hate to say, this is lazy. I, I'm sorry, Lord, for saying that, but this is just sad, okay? And then she starts calling for her son, Gabriel. Hold on. You guys need to laugh before I start this video. Okay, here we go. Where's it at? Where is it at? Here we go. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Gotta watch that again. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh gosh, alright, so that was <laughs> That's gonna be the opener for this <laughs> For this video guys, okay Now hold on I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get into this stuff, okay You're gonna hear some stuff from Mike from around the world about the water event I believe he said it's already started um, First guys, I'm gonna show you this, okay First I'm going to show you, this is gonna be from up into, up into Thin Air YouTube channel, okay? Where is it at? Right here. He's a wonderful channel, guys, so check him out. He does a lot of research. He's a very good researcher. You know, he shows stuff going on, too. And I, res I respect him. You know, he's a good good man at heart, good spirit, good soul. And um, when you guys get a chance, check him out. But I'm going to play this clip for you. There's a reason why I'm going to play this clip for you, okay? You see another, another video of his, right? Okay, he reported this days back. Now, others also caught on, too, um, maybe at the same time or right after, right? It was either him or somebody else first had noticed this massive, to me, it's a massive magnetic anomaly, okay, that was off Africa's coast. 85-plus feet waves, okay, off Africa's coast. That was found on NOAA, the space weather government website, was, you know, it showed up on one of the buoys as being 85 feet plus waves, okay? BP Earthwatch came out and said, oh, that had to be from an asteroid. I'm going to completely disagree because, as you guys will see, this thing was moving upwards, guys. It moved, okay? It moved. Here's the African coast, it started, you know, like kind of small and it grew, grew and it, it's, it was going upwards, all right? It started moving, okay? And no, I do not believe it's it's a UFO or a USO, as Mr. MBB333 YouTube channel stated, and I'm going to tell you why. I don't think it's a meteor like BP Earthwatch stinks, and I, I respect both of these guys, by the way, that I'm talking about. But no meteor is going to leave something like that that's just gonna stay there like that okay guys it's gonna hit it's gonna make an impact and it's gonna go away quick right and it's not gonna move up in the water within two to three days span okay it doesn't do that and another thing is something if an, a meteor hit that big trust me it'd be all over everybody's cameras right now because you, can, you can't miss something like that so that's a definite no um Mr. MBB, Mike, Mr. MBB333 YouTube channel had stated that he believes, hold on, let me get comfortable, guys, I do apologize. So Mr. MBB333 YouTube channel has stated he believes it's a big USO, right? A big underwater UFO, in other words. I disagree with that, as you guys can see, by the way, off of its coming magnetics. And I'm going to tell you this right now, Insider Mike from around the world, FEMA Planet X System Insider, has been telling Pastor Paul Begley for the past year about a water event coming due to an iceberg, guys. It's down here, okay? You see South America right here, you see Africa. I'm talking down here by Antarctica, all right? And notice this, something massive left Antarctica. Gee, isn't that something, huh? 
during the solar eclipse? Well, insider Mike from around the world has been warning of a massive water event, guys. A massive – hold on. Let me get comfortable again. I do apologize. I do apologize. So Insider Mike has been warning about a massive water event, right? Due to an ice sheet or ice, massive ice sheet that broke off, as you're going to hear Mike say, it broke off. It's starting to pretty much sink and, you know, um, melt. And that's not good because – Fresh water is mixing in with our ocean water, and Insider Mike had warned. Get, he's been saying it for the past year, especially the past few weeks and months. He said, get ready for the water. Get ready for the water. Well, what they also found out is, well, this was going on over here on the East Coast where Mike was warning about getting hit. And by the way, that you know, when the pole shift happens from Planet X, okay, we're already in the, the biblical pole shift, the geological pole shift from Planet X coming in. As the poles are moving, okay, but the real, the governments are, you know, the government already knows we're in a first stages of a pole shift right now, guys, okay? They know this, but they're prepping for the final stage. What's the final stage of the pole shift? That's when planet X goes between the earth and the sun and the moon and does an arching pass over the sun and planet X will lock on to Earth's southern pole as a does an arching pass over the sun and it will flip Earth, right? It's going to cause massive quakes. Tsunamis, three to 500 feet tall, will wipe out every coastline. Millions will die. Massive quakes will hit. Seas and stuff like that will change, okay? But this is not that, guys. This is a total separate event, which is scary. And the really scary part is Noah had scrubbed this data off their buoy thing, okay, from NO. N O A A Noah, you know, Noah.com or whatever, whatever their website is, okay? They pull this information and what what Mr. MBB three 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 and BP Earthwatch must have ignored or didn't know is at the same time this anomaly was over here, right? On the coast over here of South America. The water levels dropped, guys, and I looked up how many feet that had to have dropped, and it said over like 6,000 plus feet. I don't know. I don't know if that's right or not, but it dropped, okay? At the same time, this was magnetic anomaly was going on over here. At the same time, over here, we also found out, at least I did, that waves were inundating coming into the East Coast. Higher than normal. Well, what's going on? It sounds like the water event that Insider Mike warned about. Okay, so anyways, guys, you're, I'm going to play this for you. All credit goes to Into Thin Air YouTube channel. Give me a second. I do apologize. Again, guys, if you don't like me being shaky on the phone, just don't watch, you know, but I'm doing my best, not feeling the greatest right now and chest cold and my heart's been really messed up, you know, since the solar eclipse um, day. Okay, and the energy is even higher now because we got pulses coming in from, from the two gamma ray bursts that Insider Mike warned about still. They're hitting the backside of the sun. One set of the gamma ray bursts, which is a, two dead stars, okay? One of those dead stars shooting thousands of pulses keeps hitting, coming from the backside of the sun, meaning the sun interacts with that, and then Earth screwed, right? And then the other set of thousands of waves of galactic cosmic radiation red band waves, pure radiation are hitting behind the planet okay we're getting hit again today we're also getting cmes and solar flares hitting the earth right now okay coronal mass ejections and solar flares from the sun and the sun mike gave a warning with a day what days to a week ago he said the sun has less than a week until the sun's poles flip exactly what's going to happen to earth and that's not good. He said the sun is going to go into chaos mode, in other words, guys. Massive flares, massive CMEs, okay? If I remember correctly, and we're already past that weak point. So the sun's about to start going haywire, guys. It's not good. Not good at all. Anyways, here's Into, in a, into Thin Air YouTube channel. You're going to see what he had found, okay? Here we go. Give me a second, guys. Hold the anomaly on. here that came off of Antarctica. There's a theory that an ice... All right, you ready? Hold on. 
my friends, here is a follow-up on this Antarctica anomaly. That's not the only thing going on. We also have a significant event going on on the west coast of South America. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But again, this is the anomaly here that came off of Antarctica. There's a theory that an iceberg may have released off the bottom of the ocean on this part of Antarctica and rose up to the sea surface. Yeah, there you go, guys. To be picked up by Ventu Sky. Now, again, we can follow this thing all the way up into the Atlantic Ocean over the next four to five days. Insider very, Mike very warned very about it. It's not good at all guys not good and we'll come back to this but look at what's going on in south america and i want you to look at this here this now watch is national this. data buoy center this measures tsunami buoys big waves earthquakes things like that and it shows us what's going on with our buoys if we click this one right here you can see the information is showing that just overnight last night into the morning of the 11th this buoy dropped over 2,000 meters almost as if it snapped off the buoy and the sensor dropped to the sea floor but keep in mind this is right off the coast of south america and if we go ahead and look at the wave height for this area, obviously we have the anomaly coming off Antarctica, but then over here there's not much going on where this buoy went off. In fact, it's about right in this area here. We do have a little bit of upper waves here, 10.5 feet, nothing to be scared over. But what caused that buoy to drop out of nowhere over 2,000 meters? That's another thing I don't think I've ever seen before. I'm always checking out these buoys. Every hurricane, every earthquake, I come right here to check them. And now this one is the one right here, right where we just checked the wave heights, which is about 10.5 feet, a drop of over two. 2,000 meters. That's insane. That's almost a complete fail of the buoy. I'm surprised it's even in event mode and not taken offline completely. But there is some weird stuff going on in the South Pacific and the South Atlantic Oceans right now. Both are very close to the continent of Antarctica. And I got to say, this is just something I've never seen. Notice before. the waves, guys, yes. coming off as if there's tsunami waves sitting right there. You see them? Iceberg, and this is a forecast of waves that are going to be caused by it. If there is any truth to this, there's this something, something like magnetic waves. It's something that's interesting regardless of whether it actually takes takes place or not so you guys just saw that right hold on now let me play for you insider mike and pastor paul begley's interview i'm, I'm not going to play the whole thing guys i'm going to play you the last part about two minutes worth of now this is not on pastor paul begley youtube channel but it's from pastor paul begley youtube channel so all credit goes to him too but this is, anybody ever wants to see, um, here, Insider Mike, he, he does things either daily or every few days, okay, and he gives updates, what's going on around the world as far as what to watch for. He does some pretty good Bible studies, guys, you know, so you can go to counciloftime.com, again, counciloftime.com, okay? And when you go there, you're going to see a page, um... This says archives. Okay, guys, hit the archives thing and just scroll down. You'll see old and new posts from Angela, which is a woman that um, also a Christian woman that does things for like women and stuff on there. She's a good Christian woman. And then there, there's stuff from like from around the world, new ones and old ones. You just got to scroll down and look. Okay. So here we go. This is from 4-11-2024, Pastor Paul interview, Michael, Global and Solar Updates, right? April, April 11th, 2024. Here we go. Let me try to get to you where we want. Um, I'm going to get you guys to the ending part. Hold on. It's like the last minute, guys. Hold on. You got to be 100%. Hold on. Oh, Pastor, I forgot something. One Here you go. Last thing. Yeah. Now, everybody knows I'm talking about the water event, right? Yes, 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 yes. The bugs come out in May or early June, right? We already have two collapses uh, in, the, in the south. If you guys didn't hear that, Insider Mike said, Paul, hey, wait. He said the bugs are going to come out in May or June. By the way, I don't know if Mike knows this, but the bugs are already coming out, guys. Um, in the Middle East, they just had like millions of beetles come out of nowhere in the desert, okay? I'm not sure if I have that clip to show you, but yeah, that's already started. I'm not sure if Mike knows that or not, but here we go, guys. All right, hold on. In North Pole. So, those collapses are going to translate into water problems around uh, May, June, and July. So... So next, keep that. We'll keep so that. next week, we'll, we, we'll, we're going to talk about weather, war, yeah, we'll water. Yeah, we'll talk about that more. We'll talk about that water more because um, it, it's almost like everything is melting much faster than, than – you remember I told you about that, the uh, 
the one ice sheet that was held up by a very small layer of ice. Yes. It is being held up now, right? It's almost totally collapsed. It's floating. Right now it's floating, right? Okay. But that's only going to last for another month and a half. The ice sheet's floating. And that's the end of that. It's, gonna just... it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's broken off. It's starting it's to break, break off already. Right. It's broken it's off, guys. It's already, it's already starting. It's already right. starting. There you go. It's already starting. So uh, that's happened. Um, I expect more breaks have happened. Okay. Uh, and that's matter. It is the – once it breaks, it's going to slide down. It'll got... shift. Okay, Heidi's got something. She's brought me right now. She says, Paul, here is here's a, a massive water disturbance deep in the southern hemisphere of Earth. Do you know about that? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll hit that. Up. We'll talk about more of that this week. They're going to try and explain that, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. All we'll, right, we'll, so next week we're going to talk about we'll weather, rehash, yeah. water, yeah. and war. Did they say it was causing a was that a forty foot it? wave? Is it a forty foot um, waves are recorded? We don't we just got this info. We haven't watched the video on the explanation, so I have to do that. Don't know. We have forty well, foot you, wave. Wait. wait a minute. Wait, where? I'm I'm just saying. Did are are they saying anything about a forty foot wave? Uh, not not what I see right there. I'd have to go through okay. it and see. Uh, no, I don't know. We'll talk. Well, Insider Mike, guys, he was asking Paul, he goes, because, you know, Pastor Paul's wife had found information out about what happened off the coast of Africa and, you know, the coast of South America, right? And Insider Mike goes, was it a 40-foot wave? And at the end, which I stopped it beforehand, you guys can go listen to yourselves. At the end, Paul goes, no, it's 80 feet, right? Just like what you just saw in Up, in, up Into Thin Air YouTube channel. And Mike said if it's 80 feet, he's not worried about that due to the fact that it'd be something more localized, okay? But he said if it's 40 feet, then that's something that would be global. Well, what's scary is, guys, it was 85 plus feet, right? Well, guess what? Within that time frame, after Up in the Thin Air YouTube channel showed that, it actually had dropped to 40 feet, okay? So that's quite alarming to me, and you guys should know what's going on with that, okay? Um Hold on. Now I got more stuff to show you guys, right? Give me a second. I'm trying to pack as much as I can in this video because I've been, you know, I've been gone for a while and I don't know which when I'm going to come back on due to everything I'm dealing with, guys. But hold on, here we go. Signs in the heavens before Yeshua Jesus Christ coming. Here's this in China. Yeah, I'm not actually moving my finger right now, guys. This is for me recording on another video, okay? Hold on. Massive cloud that kind of looks like a big UFO in the sky. See that, guys? Uh, it's not clear enough. Hold on. Okay, that just happened in China, guys. That was, that was just seen. All right. Things massive, is it not? Hold on, let me get to the next thing. Um... As you guys see, um, Iran, they um, struck back at Israel, guys, okay? They struck back. They sent hundreds of drones, tons of ICBM missiles over to Israel. I'm not sure if anybody died or not from that. That's due to what Israel did in Syria by blowing up on the consulate, I believe a consulate building, right? Killing a few of Iran's guards, um, one of their top guys or a few of their top people, so I ran fire back, as many of you know, many don't know, but here we go. I, I want to bring in NBC once again for correspondent Josh Letterman standing by for us. Um, Josh, bring us up to date. What more we're learning? Well, yes, yeah, we're learning a little bit more from the Israeli military about what has taken place uh, in the last few minutes. Uh, the IDF now says that multiple drones were launched from Iranian territory uh, toward Israel. Now, as uh, Aaron David Miller was correctly saying, uh, and the IDF is now echoing, it's going to take several hours for those drones to actually uh, arrive in the vicinity of Israel. Uh, but in the meantime, the Israeli... Okay, guys, these, these are the missiles that were fired, okay, towards Israel, and I believe the Iron Dome blew up most of them. Okay, here we go. 
האוויר מוציאים לפועל את התוכנית הסדורה אליה נערכנו. That is, that, is, that is so many bombs, guys. Like, that is so horrifying. And what, what many don't know, okay, is what the Bible says in, I believe, Psalms, um, the book of Psalms, Psalm 84, okay? It talks about what's going to, or Psalm 83, is it the Psalm 83 or 84? I forgot which. But we know what Bible prophecy says that, you know, that, They'll say, let us cast Israel off the map that their name be, be remembered no more. That's exactly the words that, you know, Iran has chanted many times over and over while chanting death to America. Okay. As they call Israel the little Satan, they call the United States the big Satan. Okay. What does the Bible say is going to happen to Iran? What does it say? They're going to be pretty much in ruins, guys. That's what's coming in Iran. That's not my words. That's Bible prophecy. I can, you know, you guys can look look it up yourself. Look up the Psalm eighty three or Psalm eighty four war. I believe that's already starting right now. I think Israel is the one that started it after they hit that building in Syria. Okay, so it's only only going to escalate, guys. But we also know what's coming too. All of this war going on is a precursor to the biblical Antichrist stepping up and signing a seven-year false peace deal where they separate God's holy land, Israel, and give it to a people that it don't belong to. And whether people want to believe it or not, where, where the Palestinians are at on that plot of land, that's not their land, guys. Okay, that's the Jewish people's land. And yes, there are real and fake Jews. For those that get angry at Jews and say, oh, these people are Jews or call, call these elite that wear, you know, the Jewish caps, calling them Jews or calling these Pharisees that Christ called vipers, calling them Jews. No, Yeshua, Yeshua Jesus Christ warned there'd be fake Jews amongst the real Jews. He said it in Revelation chapter 3. Where he calls them the synagogue of Satan and how he will make the synagogue of Satan. Those who say they are Jews and are not, he will make them come to bow down to Christian's feet. Why the Lord would do that, I don't know, but that's that's what it says, all right? Just like in the Bible, it says there there are those who say they're of Israel and are not. Well, look, look at the case over there today. There's many over there that claim they're Israeli, but they are not. But guys, don't get caught up in this war. Don't get caught up in hate. Yeshua, Jesus said, love and forgive give another. For anybody from the Islamic world listening, you must know that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, died for all mankind's sins on the cross, who you call Esau, your prophet. He is not a prophet. Yeshua, Jesus said, I am more than a prophet. He said, he, said he is God in the flesh. He said, me and my father are one. If you would have known me, you would have known my father also, for me and him are one. Jesus said in John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father God but by me. Not through Muhammad, not through Buddha, not through all these false prophets and false gods and fake deities made out, made out of stone. And like in Hinduism, they worship over, what, 300 million gods and goddesses, false gods and false goddesses? That in reality are nothing more than the Nephilim, the offspring of the fallen angels that mated with women, as Genesis chapter 6 states, as the book of Enoch states. And nothing more than fallen interdimensional beings and demonic in nature that they made as gods. And those same, quote, gods are still here, guys, and others are going to return in real UFOs, especially after the, after the rapture of Christians when Christ catches away. Or translated by St. Jerome of the Latin Vulgate, translated Paul's words caught up to repia more or raptio, raptura, okay, or rapio in Latin as St. As Jerome of the Latin Vulgate translated Paul's words caught up to those words in harpazo, with, or in Greek it's called the harpazo. In the Bible it's called our, called our blessed hope. All right, and the catching away. Or simply translated to rapture in English. We know when Christ comes and raptures, it says the Bible says, first the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up 
repeat more in Latin, harpazo in Greek, raptured in English, caught up to be with the Lord in the air, caught up with, with the dead to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, what does it say? It doesn't say cry. It doesn't say have tears. It says comfort, right? Comfort one another with these words. Why is that? Because it's called our blessed hope. First Thessalonians 5, 9 says, God has not, notice that, not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord. Revelation 3, 10, Yeshua Jesus said, because you've kept the word of my patience. I will also keep you from, the word from, in our Bibles are from Aramaic, Greek, and Hebrew. The word from in Greek, translations where main Bibles are from is, Ek, E-K, meaning from out of or out of. So Jesus said, because you have kept the word of my patience, I will keep you from, or ek in Greek, meaning out of or from out of the hour of temptation or trial or testing based on whatever Bible you read, meaning the seven years of judgment, that shall come upon the whole world to try them. Who's them? Those are those that rejected Yeshua, Jesus Christ before and at the time of the rapture, to try them who dwell on, dwell on the earth. Guys, okay, so that's the most well-known pre-tribulation rapture verse that Yeshua Jesus told you himself. For those that don't know where it comes from and you study, you listen to these false preachers and pastors and won't even touch on the truth. Well, you just heard the truth. Okay, guys, hold on. Here's more. This video clip, um, I have no clue who this woman is or who it belongs to, but all credit goes to her. She had caught something days before the... Days before the solar eclipse, she noticed a another body that just, it's glowing, it's just bright white, but I'm not sure if the bright white object is another object behind the moon, or, or is the dark object, you know, um, another planet X system body, and then the white thing behind it, the moon, I don't know, here we go, you're gonna see this, this is crazy, guys. Again, I'm sorry if it's shaky. I do apologize. Hold on. I'm trying to get clear as I can for you guys, okay? Good morning. It is April 7, 2024, the day before the eclipse. It's almost 24 hours before the eclipse here in California. And I thought I'd check out my sky guide. And then I noticed that there is a white object next to the moon. You guys see that? It's supposed to be dark. Hold on. Let me show you again. Okay, guys, that's what she caught on the sky, the sky guide. You see it? That's, she thinks supposedly that's our moon, okay, which, yeah, that could be, but it might also be a planet X system body, and that behind it could be our real moon. I don't know. I can't pr say for sure. She thinks that's an extra object behind the moon. I, I'm asking, is this the actual extra object in front and the moon behind? Either way, there's another object there behind what she thinks is the moon, or what it's showing as the moon, right? It showed up on her star map. I know. It is. That. Right there, it even says moon, marking it, okay? So there, there you guys go with that. Signs in the heavens before Christ's coming, right? Before the second coming of Christ. What else do I got here for you guys? Hold on. All right, this happened in Europe, guys, all right? This happened in Europe. It just goes to show you, I don't, I don't know if this is before or after the solar eclipse, but it just goes to show you how electrified and, you know, these planet X system bodies connect to Earth by magnetic and plasma connection, all right? Hold on, guys, I'm trying to get comfortable. Give me a second. Give me a second! <laughs> all right, guys, I do apologize. I know it's nauseating for some of you out there that can't stand the phone shaking around. Well... Try doing it your guys selves and then say the same to me, okay? So before complaining, try doing some actual research your guys selves out there. There's so many that complain, okay? I'm trying to bring this to you even feeling like crap. So please understand that and going through all that I am, okay? Now the whole earth is charged up with radiation. 
due to due to the two gamma ray bursts of energy coming in thousands of waves from two gamma ray bursts thousands of waves of galactic cosmic radiation red band waves soaking in humans bodies soaking in pets soaking in the animals soaking in earth's crust causing more quakes um, earth's core is swelling pushing up magma lava more volcanoes are blowing globally which is by the way one of the major signs of planet x coming in when all the the volcanoes start blowing, and especially when Mount Vesuvius starts blowing. And I was getting info from my friend on Facebook. He was sending me clips from his friend, as they're both from Italy, but his friend lives closer to Mount Vesuvius, and his friend sent him at least two to three clips that I shared down my videos showing smoke coming out of Mount Vesuvius. Now, somebody tried to silence my friend. His mayor of the town actually threatened him to stop telling people, quote-unquote, lies in Italy. All right? And I, I haven't heard from him since. I hope that man's okay. But yes, Mount Vesuvius is smoking. You guys can see that down my timeline. And we know one, one of the, one of, well, whether the prophecy is true or not, I remember Marshall Masters said one of the main things they're looking for is once you see Mount Vesuvius start blowing, then you know Planet X is at the door. Okay, well, it's been smoking for the last half a year, uh, okay, <laughs> so it's not good. Now, the whole Earth is charged up with radiation coming in from the sun, from the two gamma ray bursts. We also know from Insider Mike from around the world that Planet X is now sending pulses. I'm not sure, if, uh, you know, pulses towards the Earth or the sun, but you're going to see how highly charged the atmosphere is. And by the way, our ionosphere is extremely charged up with radiation particles, okay? Um, our, our ionosphere and atmosphere, not including all the chemtrails, 70, 70 different plus poisons they use, not only to obscure the skies so you can't see Planet X system bodies, but they also do it because the elite believe when they go down into their bunker, see they spray, and they believe that and the spray they use is it bounces, hits the ground, and it goes back up to the sun, kind of like what they call it, photosynth uh, photosynthesis or greenhouse effect or whatever. Because they believe they're going to go down to their bunkers for 10 years and pop back up. Well, they don't got 10 years because when the after the Christians are raptured and judgment starts, it only lasts seven years. And the Bible says what happens to the elite in Revelation chapter 6, how they're going to be going into the dens and caves of the rocks, meaning their bunkers, and begging God to drop the rocks on them. And in a great earthquake, global earthquake will hit. It says that in Revelation chapter 6, relating to what Planet X is going to do to the planet. That's just one of many chapters on what Planet X is going to do to this earth, okay? And it says the rich men, the mighty men, the captains, the free men, the slaves, so on, will hide themselves in the dens and the rocks of the earth and saying, God, let the rocks fall on us to hide themselves from him, from God Almighty, who sits on the throne. Okay, and they know Yeshua Jesus Christ is going to be their judge. They know their time is short, and it's sad because Yeshua Jesus died for everybody, guys. He died for black, white, gay, straight, Muslim, Jew, non-Jew, for everybody. He died for our sins, past, present, future sins on the cross. He was buried and rose again the third day, that whoever calls on his name, as Romans 10, 13 states, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Knowing when you accept Christ as Lord, you're only saved by your faith in Jesus Christ and by God's grace through your faith in Christ are you saved. As the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, it's not by good works, lest any man should boast. Your charitable deeds and good things you do for others will not get you to heaven, guys. It's, it's simply by what Jesus Yeshua did. Becoming the New Testament, the Passover lamb, the sacrifice, the holy, innocent sacrifice. He is God in the flesh and fully man without sin. He's also one with God at the same time separate. And he's also God's only begotten son as Yeshua Jesus made this all clear in scriptures. You know, Philip in the Bible, for Muslims out there, out there that want to argue with people. I've seen videos with multiple Muslims trying to argue with Christians saying Jesus never proclaimed to be God, right? And it upsets me to see there's so many Christians out there that don't study, as the Bible says, to show themselves approved. To Muslims saying there's no proof in the Bible or anybody else saying in the, there's no proof in the Bible that Yeshua Jesus said he's God in the flesh. 
Read John chapter 14. One of Jesus' own disciples said to Jesus, Show us the Father, for it is sufficient for us, for him and the other disciples, right? I believe that was Philip. And Yeshua, Jesus said to him, what did he say? He said, Philip, I have been so long with you, and you have not known me, Philip. He says, he said to Philip, he who has seen me has seen the Father. So why do you say, show us the Father? Me and my Father are one, Jesus said. So for all those out there that can't give an answer to what I just did, I just gave you the verses, Revelation, or sorry, John chapter 14. Not including in, in, in ancient writings, guys, from Caiaphas, the same one that cr helped crucify Jesus, one of the high priest. The main high priest that sent Yeshua Jesus to his death and wanted him crucified, which, by the way, in Caiaphas's writings, as I showed down my videos, many don't know that after Christ rose from the grave the third day, right? Many don't know that Yeshua Jesus showed up because when Jesus rose from the dead the third day, we know he was on earth for 40 days. And there's a lot of stuff left out. We know he did a lot of miracles, so on. And when he had risen from the grave and stayed on earth for 40 days until his ascension, as the Bible calls it, when he got caught up with two angels on his side and 500 witnesses on the ground at once. And the two angels next to Jesus as Christ was floating up in the air and the two angels said to the people, the same Jesus you see go up shall come back in likewise manner. In other words, don't be sad, don't fear. He's coming again in likewise manner as you see him go away. Well, what many don't know in Caiaphas' own writings that the Vatican had released long ago, Caiaphas had locked himself. This is the high priest, by the way, that had Christ crucified. He was the main one amongst other priests and scribes and Pharisees, okay? That Christ called vipers and snakes because he knew their hearts were hardened. Oh, by the way, this is also why they found the nail in Caiaphas's tomb. Many don't know that. When they dug up the tomb of Caiaphas, they found one or two nails. I forgot which. And that nail just happens to be in Israel's highest museum right now. They know one of the nails that Caiaphas had kept with him at burial has pa passed down by word and tradition by Jews that know the truth in the story. They said Caiaphas kept that nail to find God's mercy because Caiaphas realized that he killed the holy lamb slain for the world, the one that was born of the Virgin Mary, the immaculate birth. It was fully man. We call him the God man, fully man in God and flesh, yet without sin, guys. And he's also God's only begotten son. He's one with God at the same time separate. The Bible says there's God the creator. All right. For those that say there's no trinity. Yeah, the word trinity is not in the Bible. But yes, there is a trinity. It says the Bible says there's the father God, the creator. Secondly, there's the word which came in flesh. Who's the word which came in flesh? That's Yeshua, with Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, which is the third part of the Trinity. All three of these, what does the Bible say? All three are one. Just like water, fire, and air. The, the elements, right? As it talks about that in the Bible, I believe. Or blood, whatever. I forgot how it goes. But Anyways, guys, let me get to this here, okay? I'm going to show you this next. This is in Europe, okay? This is going to show you how charged everything is from the radiation coming in. And from them, chemtrailing, right? Here we go. You're going to hear tons of people's metal detectors that are pointing pointing up at the sky, guys. Watch this. This is how electrified everything is. This is how bad the energy is. And by the way, we're getting more spikes hitting on the Schumann resonance today, which is Earth, what they call Earth's pulse or heartbeat, uh, meaning lots of radiation is coming in. And yes, we're getting hit behind the Earth again today, right now. I believe from one of the pulses coming in from, from one of the gamma ray bursts hitting um, from behind the planet. So here we go, guys. Check this out. Hold on.
Isn't that crazy, guys? That that is a lot of energy coming in our atmosphere. Now check this out. All right. For those of you that just saw this on Facebook last night, I'm going to share it again for those on YouTube. Okay. This I'm not sure where this is for, who originally recorded it. This happened on April second, guys. And as as many know, I've, I've stated many times these Planet X system bodies. These Planet X system bodies connect to the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun by plasma and magnetic connection. Well, somebody caught this. Check this out. Tons of people were outside all at the same time, okay? They were all outside in Nashville, Tennessee. In the video, it says the moon, they, they noticed the Moon turning from green to red. Well, Insider Mike said months and months back, get ready for the Moon to, to, to start shedding its white dust and start showing what it truly is. I'm not sure what he meant by that. But yes, they are noticing also as well, guys, both poles are starting to turn red on the moon. Okay. Why would that be? Well, personally, I believe that's from the past showing itself uh, when Planet X came around before more than once, leaving behind the red iron oxide dust. You know, that's why Mars looks the way it was. Mars was once Earth-like, guys. It got destroyed. And there's nothing but red iron oxide dust all over Mars. Why is that? Planet X came through and destroyed Mars, period. Do they want to tell you guys this? Heck no, they don't. But it's in every ancient record. I mean, the ancients wrote about it and so on. You can't deny those facts. So here we go. Hold on. Here's Watch the moon. You're not going to see a Planet X system body. I mean, even the body can be far away, but still interact with our solar system's planets and our Earth, so on. But watch. You're going to see a plasma magnetic connection between... I believe a Planet X system body connecting to the moon by plasma magnetic connection. And also, don't forget, NASA has patented um, moon simulators and they have fake sun simulators. Why is that? To block, they try to align them in front of our real sun and moon. Um, different countries have them. NASA has patents for them. Anybody that doesn't believe me, look up solar simulator or sun simulator nasa patents um china also admitted just what two three years ago they wanted to put the a fake moon up in the sky over beijing or over china to keep you know street lights lit due to the the dampening of the light that's mainstream news you guys can look that up they have fakes a fake sun simulator and fake moon they use a they use a whole cloaking system with fresno lenses in space to bend the light and so on they use an overly fake bright white sun that looks like a honeycomb if you guys haven't noticed on faa sky cams with a black hole in the center our sun does not have a black hole in the center and it should not be white um it should be yellow but in reality our real sun is partial yellow going into red orange mode because let's be honest it's dying right now from these planet x system bodies perturbing it and passing the sun every day but what you guys are seeing a lot not always but you see a lot the fake sun simulator that's overly bright it burns your plants okay and puts black spots on your food your plants that you're noticing you're buying from the stores anybody notice that that's why not including all this heat coming in as planet x comes in and, and as the earth heats up all the magma Gases are coming up out of the Earth, you know, because the Earth's course stopped, as mainstream media had to admit, due to two Chinese students that had admitted that came out and report that Earth's core had stopped and started reversing. Why is that? Well, Michio Kokaku, I forgot the guy's name, on CNN, he completely lied on CNN and says, oh, it's normal, it happens every 70 years or something like that. Bull crap, we found out it happened last time during the Ice Age when Planet X passed the Earth, okay? Meaning Planet X is coming in. That's a very bad sign. We're in the first signs of the pole shift, guys, okay? So get ready for bigger and more quakes, especially as the sun's poles are about to flip. Insider Mike just warned about. And the sun's about to start going crazy, guys. Things are going to get a whole lot worse globally. I mean flooding, I mean... The UAE right now in Dubai, UAE, they're all under floods right now, guys. I'm talking five, ten feet of water up to the buildings and cars in the Middle East right now and all over the place. In the United States, floods like crazy. Excuse me, guys. Get ready for more fires, especially across the U.S. The, the United States is going to look like a cauldron of flames and South America and Mexico and around the planet. Not including when the 
millions of asteroid debris start coming from Planet X's debris tail. This millions of miles long, big and small asteroid rocks, as I've seen in seven fireball dreams, when they start hitting globally, they're going to kill people globally and set many fires. Okay, so hold on, guys. I'm going to try to sum up this video, okay? Hold on. Watch the moon discharge, okay? Here we go. I do apologize. I get off topic and carried away, I know. That was Nashville, Tennessee, guys. April 2nd, 2024. Okay. I apologize for the cussing in the video, guys. I hate cussing, and God does not want us cussing, all right? I mean, yeah, I'll slip up here and there and cuss when I get overly upset or, you know, hurt my toe or something stupid like that, but no, we're not supposed to cuss, guys, at all. You know, God wants us to use our mouths to praise God and lift up others with our mouths and lips. Not cut down another or hatred and so on. Watch this. And they asked him to grab his camera, guys, okay? They said, grab your camera. Now watch. Everybody saw this that was outside, okay? Of this, Wherever this was in Nashville, Tennessee, everybody saw it. It was outside. This guy ran into the place and told him, get his camera and watch what he catches. Boom. You see the magnetic connection right here? Plasma magnetic connection to a Planet X system body, okay? And yes, there are Planet X system bodies that sit by the moon or past the moon, okay? On a weekly, daily basis, guys. So there you go on that. Isn't that crazy, guys? Now, lately, the asteroid debris have been coming in by clusters from Planet X's debris tail. Insider Mike warned not too long, well, months back, to get ready. They're going to start coming in waves. Okay, here we go. Here's the one, one of many debris that just came in. You ready? Hold on. New Jersey, guys. reports of this sighting. There's been no official confirmation, though, of what the bright light was. Oh. oh. Remember, guys, I was just talking about bugs. Insider Mike, he said what he just said in Pastor Paul's last interview with him. He said, get ready for the bugs. Well, I'm not sure if Mike already knows, but the bugs are already here, guys. I mean, Argentina just had a plague of uh, mosquitoes. Now we got these weird looking gnat things. I'm not sure where this is at. I forgot where. Hold on. Here we go. You ready? I believe this is somewhere in the Middle East right now or South America also. They're like little beetle gnat type things. Okay. How would you guys like to wake up with that crawling all over your face and butt, huh? <laughs> Definitely not. Well, there you guys go for that. That is horrible looking, guys. Um, here's a, another capture by me over a public European sky camera. Red Planet X system body caught clear as day. I had to lighten up the picture so you can see the body better, okay? Sorry, my phone's not getting clear in on the image, but you guys can see it. Hold on, let me wipe my phone real quick, guys. One second, okay? All right. That's the Red Planet X system body I just caught days ago over a European sky cam. All right. I'll show you what else I got before I, I shut this down. Hold on. Okay, let me see what else we got. I 
spaceweather.com they showed this man's capture right and they try to say oh this is from spacex this red blob that just happened to be caught by this man and um it posted this on space spaceweather.com right and space weather came out that's owned by the government and said oh it's, it's from spacex no i'm not buying that guys it looks like either one of the two massive bodies that came in after the planet x system or one of the Red Planet X system bodies with stars around it, okay? So you got that. Um, they pulled this article, by the way, really quick from Space Weather. You see that? All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go to the bathroom really quick, and this phone does not have a pause button, so I had to cut it off really quick. But as I was showing you this from Space Weather website... This man caught this, looks like a Red Planet X system body that was in the heavens and spaceweather.com said, no, it's from SpaceX. I'm not buying that, guys, okay? And here, here's what I mean by whatever eclipse the sun didn't look like the moon. I'll take a look at that, guys. This is from a Nibiru group, uh, Liano Grandi. That's what he took from Dallas, right? Do you see any moon features on this, guys? I don't. Looks like a completely different planet. There's no craters from the moon or nothing on it, guys. So, yeah. Makes me question what I already thought in the first place. What really eclipsed the sun, all right? Here's that big ball that they had put up where they do concerts in. It's like a big glass ball that they put things on that it... it Constantly shows different pictures and videos on it in Las Vegas. I notice how the elite are pretty much sitting there mocking us. You know, like um, Klaus Schwab, he told everybody that they're going to be eating bugs. Well, they're already st starting to put bugs in people's food. Okay, guys, um, while purposely making things happen to where we lose our food in the United States and around the planet. They're doing it globally. Okay, but at the same time, with the weather chaos coming in from Planet X, you're also losing food that way with things getting, you know, and factories are blowing up for more than one reason. One of the main reasons the factories are blowing up is from the radiation charged particles coming in, causing sewer lids to blow, um, you know, in the ground, the energy radiation soaking in the grounds, put sweat, making Earth's core where, where hell is. Making Earth's core swell, pushing gases like lava, magma up, poisonous gases, methane, so on, sulfur. Okay. And um, stuff like that. But yeah, as, as you guys can see, check it out. It's like you're mocking us on this ball. It says, you are bugs. Okay, like, are you kidding me? Mocking everybody. And people ignorantly go and pay to watch concerts like YouTube just, um, you know, famous YouTube rock band just did a concert inside this thing. It's amazing looking inside, but yeah, they're they're um, using this thing for more than one thing. And they're also giving you as a big clue. I mean, it's like a big Planet X sitting there right in the middle of Las Vegas, right? All right, this has been captured more than once by me and others, but Mr. MBB333 YouTube channel showed this how, once again, a Planet X system body was caught connecting to the sun by, notice how it's connecting, just like with the moon, huh? Notice the string-looking thing right there connecting to the sun from this Planet X system body right here. You can see it. It's right there, guys. Connecting to the sun by plasma, magnetic connection, so on. All right. Oh, by the way, there was a massive 6.6 .6 earthquake today. I just hit Japan, guys. It just hit Japan um, earlier. Let me try to show you that really quick because I want to try to get this video done fast. Okay. My father's sleeping, so I want to make sure he stays asleep. Hold on. I'll show you it right here. And by the way, for other channels that look up the USGS for magnitudes of earthquakes, do not do that. All they do is hide, and they lie and hide the truth, and they downgrade quakes. This originally was a 6.6, .6, okay, and they're already downgrading it to like a 6.4, 6.0, 6, 
5.8, so on, okay? No, the real magnitude was a 6.6 that just hit Japan. So if you're looking up magnitudes, always look up that country's language and translate it to English to see what they say, not what USGS says, okay? Here we go. Here's the footage of the quake in Japan. Okay, so you guys saw that, right? Hold on. I'm trying to get a picture of the actual magnitude for you guys, okay? Uh, let me find it. Give me a second, guys. Give me one second. Where are we at? Okay, give me a second, guys. One second. Here we go. I actually found it in English. I didn't even have to translate it, okay? From the Japan Times. Here we go. Magnitude 6.6 .6 quake strikes off of Shikoku. Not sure if that's pronounced right, but yeah, that's where it hit. Which Japan sitting on pretty much a massive cauldron of lava... Sadly, their own government won't tell their people to ev evacuate, which they should. They really should get off that the whole islands of Japan because it's going to sink. It's going to blow due to Planet X coming in. It's going to be horrible for people there, guys. Please know that. You in Japan or have loved ones and family in Japan. Get them out of there as fast as you can. 6.6 .6 earthquake measuring week. A week six. Yeah, okay. A week six. That's funny because this is a magnitude 6.6 .6 quake. Just like I found in actual translations of Japanese. Okay, so yeah, it was a 6.6. 6 They're try trying to downgrade and make look um, a lot nicer than what is the real truth. Okay? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Another reddish, pinkish Planet X system body caught by me on a European Skycom. I had to lighten it up, bring down the contrast up, and bring lighting down a bit so you guys can see the body better. Okay. Now, this is really amazing to me. Okay, what you're going to see here is going to blow your mind. No, I don't believe it to be any re reflection or refraction, guys, okay? Somebody took this picture, I believe, over in Israel. It's, it's for an article about two, three days ago. It says, Iran attack will be met with response, Israel Ar Army Chief says. A guy took the picture. Did he not realize it looks like something that looks like Tiamat? That was spotted in the sky. In the picture with two other bodies over here, as you guys will see in a second. Hold on. Let me try to get a clear picture for you. Here you go. In the same picture, this object has a hole in it, kind of like Planet X, but it looks more kind of like Tiamat, how it's like um, a half crescent, crescent type shape. Notice the other object next to it right there. It's smaller. Notice the other body right there. Okay. All caught in the same picture. Did this guy not see this? It's mind-blowing how people can take pictures and just completely ignore things in their own pictures, right? There he goes, another image of that. And multiple Planet X system bodies keep passing the sun on NASA Stereo Ahead Core 2. Footage. Notice the massive bodies right there. Well, it's tail or whatever. And by the way, the black thing is not the sun here, guys. The white ring is, is where the sun's at. The, the black thing they put over the sun is called the occulter to see the actual solar flares and coronal mass ejections coming off the sun, okay, and to see the sun's corona. And every day, these bodies are passing, okay? Not including, we have, as I said, not just the, not just the Planet X system is here, guys. We have two extra bodies that I've been showing for years that people didn't want to believe what they were until Wages World sh sh shared my capture of a massive body that I caught before anybody else on my own birthday. So I felt like there was a little surprise from God on my birthday of September 23rd back in 2020. And Wages, Wages World YouTube channel, if you guys don't know them, check them out. 
wonderful um, sun sun you know observer he's very knowledgeable what the sun what goes on with the sun he shared it and then planet x news actually cleaned up the picture that i didn't even need to clean up because i saw it with the naked eye when nobody else saw it. but yeah scott on planet x news he's got a great channel check him out he shared my picture cleaned up and the body was even bigger than you know i already knew it was massive i could see it with my naked eye but it was more mind-blowing when they actually cleaned up my picture right Again, another body right here passing, passing the sun. Um, this picture is upside down kind of, but as you see, another body right here. Sorry if the phone's shaky, guys. I'm trying to do this quick. Another body right here on 4-8. These are just refractions, reflections from this object passing by. Another body here, 4-8. Another body here, four seven. I had to enhance this picture because I couldn't see it um, by regular picture. So if I turned up the contrast and lighting up and down, so on, you see the massive tail of one of the, one of the two massive planetary bodies that invaded Earth's solar system after the Planet X system came in between 2002 and 2007. Is when the Planet X system came in, and now the main body, Planet X, Earth's twin sun, the Brown Dwarf Star. Or the biblical destroyer, biblical wormwood, the biblical fiery red dragon, simply Planet X is now coming up as well to join its system. Coming up from the south ecliptic plane. Um, so you see that? Here's another one where I had to enhance to see the long tail of another massive body passing right here, passing the sun. It was on 4 7. It's on 4-6. Looks like a long comet-type planet body or its tail. You can't see the body, but its tail. Here's 4-9. The object's right here. It's just harder to see, right? Here's 4-8. 4-8 again. Looks like a partial, partial of a body showing right there in 4-7. These are all caught by me, by the way, guys, okay? Just like those bodies that you saw over the um, jet. Those are also by me, all right? Hold on. Looks like the main body passed up here, as you can see. And looks like another smaller actual Planet X system... Uh, moon or planet passed under the sun right here, giving uh, giving off multiple refractions over here, okay? That was 4-7. Here's a bigger body, more so its tail being seen. It was on, I don't even know, you can't even see it, 4-8, I believe. Here's part of a tail that passed by the sun from a larger object right here. And 4-9. I had to enhance the picture, turn up the lighting, so on. No, it's not cheating. It's just bringing the object out that you cannot see that most people will not do but me. That's from 4-9. Notice the body's tail, all right? Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, a bigger one actually just passed, guys, today or uh, within the last few days. Here's, here's another Red Planet X system body caught by me over Europe again. From a public sky cam, I live in northwest Ohio, 10 minutes away from Toledo, Ohio, so. No, I'm not in Europe taking these pictures. These are from public sky cameras. There's another Red Planet X system body clearly seen. For those that out there say that nothing's coming. And nothing's coming. Yeah, nothing's coming, all right. Yeah, nothing at all. Here's another Red Planet X system body I had to enhance a whole lot on a different public sky camera and if you guys ever see you doodle on any of my bottom of my pictures you doodle is the app on google play store that i use somebody tried to claim that i, that I faked my pictures because it says you doodle on there no i use the app called you doodle you doodle okay like you doo doo <laughs> like your dog doo doos all over your porch <laughs> 
No, but I use you doodle, okay, to draw arrows and stuff, to circle things that I want you guys to pay attention to. Here's another picture of the same red planet X system body over Europe. Enhanced picture. Um, I believe, is this, the, yeah, this is the same body. It's just, um, I took it in a different format, in infrared format, to actually show you guys. Yes, it's still there. It's not a flare, nothing like that. Here's more so a regular picture of the object. You see it? Clear as day, guys. You can't, I mean, it's it's kind of obvious what's going on and what's coming in. There you go. Another enhanced picture right there. Also, in another picture, it gave off red, like down here, like a ref reflection of the object, right? Kind of like you see over here. Hold on. I do apologize, guys. It's all shaky. Uh, give me one second, okay? I'm about done here, guys. I'm about done. Hold on. Hold on. You ready? I wanted to show you that, okay, this is from the dates 410 to 417. You're going to see multiple Planet X system bodies and extra objects passing the sun. Oh, did you see the big one? That's one of the big ones I wanted to show you that just pa passed on the 10th or 11th, okay? I'm sorry, guys. This is not clear at all. I do apologize. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go. Actually, hold on. Let me go back. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, I apologize about that. Hold on, I'm back. Try to get this fast forward for you guys to actually see the bodies better, huh? It's in fast mode, I do apologize, but you'll see multiple bodies passing the sun, okay? There's one just passed there. You see that? Something over there just passed. Another thing just passed right there, but it was harder to see. Another thing over there. Something else just passed. Something to the right just passed right of the sun another thing right there something above there's another one hold on guys i want to show you the two massive objects that just passed not these little ones i could care less about them right now okay hold on oh come on give me a second guys hold on hold on give me one second i'm gonna find the, the big objects guys hold up one second okay hold on This is really odd, guys. When I try to put this in reverse, it will not let me put it into reverse. This is very strange, and it will not let me stop it. See that massive body that just passed? That was a refraction of a massive body that just passed, like a shadow that these objects give off on these type of cameras, okay? But yeah, two more massive bodies that just passed the sun. I'm not going to even try to show you it here, all right? I'm going to sum up this video, guys, by saying this, right? Hold on. I'm going to sum up this video really quick. Give me a second. Give me one second, guys. Hold on.
Let me try to find you what I need to show you right now. I do apologize, guys. I'm summing up the video here. I'm summing up. I'm looking for pictures right now, okay? Hold on. Looking for pictures. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I do apologize again. I'm just looking for pictures right now, okay? Give me a second. You guys should drink your coffee and relax today and um, clean your eardrums out after hearing my disgusting voice this whole video, right? <laughs> no, I shouldn't call my voice disgusting, but yeah, it feels disgusting and sounds disgusting to me right now. That's about it, so. Hold on, guys. Where are we at here? Why is it not popping up my pictures? That's just weird how they're not show. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you the basic stuff I'm going to show you. These are Christ's own words speaking to anybody new to my channel or anybody that's subbed to my channel or just following me. You must know Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christos, call him what you will. He's not a prophet. He's God in the flesh. And fully man. He always was, he always is, because he's one with God, he's one the same with God at the same time, separate from God. He says this in John 3, 16, these are Christ's own words, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him, whoever believes in him, Yeshua Jesus Christ, should not perish, but have everlasting life, Okay. John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto, unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh or comes unto the Father but by or but through me. Notice that. No one comes to the Father God but through Yeshua Jesus, not through Muhammad, not through Muhammad's family or brothers, not through Buddha, not through any Hindu false gods that are fallen angels and Nephilim, the giant offspring from the fallen angels that mated with women. It's not through yourself. It's not how good a life you live. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father, Father God, but through him. Okay. I'm going to read this, guys, before I shut off here because I've been doing this video too long and I do not want to make the video longer than what I wanted it. Okay. If you haven't accepted Christ as Lord, okay, the prayer of salvation doesn't, you know, it's not the prayer itself that saves you. It's based off of Romans 10, 9 to 10 and 13. Okay, that if you, you, if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness... And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. All right. Um, and um, Romans ten thirteen: Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's the main verse I want to give you. It's not the prayer itself that saves you guys. It's confessing with your mouth and believing in your heart, your heart that Yeshua Jesus is God in the flesh. Also, at the same time, fully man without sin, who died for all mankind's sins on the cross, was buried and rose again for all mankind's sins on the cross. You, you must know that Yeshua Jesus died on the cross for all mankind's sins. He was buried and rose again the third day, that whoever calls on his name will be saved. It just takes faith, guys, and knowing that you're only saved to your faith in Yeshua Jesus and by God's grace. God's grace, notice that, through your faith in Jesus, are you saved? It's not by good works or your good deeds or charitable things you do for others, nice things you do for people that get, get you to heaven. That doesn't save anybody, guys. There's a lot of so-called good people in hell. Well, let, let me read you this. Here's the ABC things. This is a simple little chart like this, okay? You must admit you have sinned. Romans 3.23 3, says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, guys. You gotta remember Adam and Eve when they sinned in the beginning, they picked that fruit off the tree. God um, told God told them not to. All that well when Satan tempt tempted Eve and then Eve tempted tempted Adam. Eat of that tree, that you know, that sin passed on to all mankind, and then death 
came from that sin in judgment after death. Now, Christians will be judged based off of good things or, you know, things we didn't do here on this earth. We'll get rewards or rewards taken away and actual crowns, as the Bible says. Excuse me, guys. A little burp there. But, uh, <laughs> oh, goodness, I felt a burp coming up and I tried to stop it and almost coughed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, believe now, okay? Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, John 1.12. Yet to all who receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. You must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of your life. Romans 10, 9, that if you shall confess with your mouth, if you shall confess with your mouth, hold on, guys, this, I hate this phone so bad. If you shall confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus, raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you are sincere and want to be ready to meet Jesus, and if you want to accept him, in other words, as Lord, guys, it's it's a simple prayer like this, okay? And by the way, Luke 15, 10 says, Likewise, I say unto you, these are Christ's own words. There is joy, and he means this literally, guys. There is joy in heaven. And I've heard this from people that have died and gone to actual heaven. You know, and, and they say that angels will praise God, and even the saints that are already in heaven people that have already died before the rapture occurs, you know, and before every, everything else that is coming. They literally praise God, guys, in heaven when sinners repent on earth, meaning when any of us repent and come to Christ, accept Christ as Lord, turn from sin and turn to Christ. They praise God for that in heaven, okay? Because it's a beautiful thing when somebody comes into the kingdom of God and has eternal life in Jesus Christ, knowing that they will never be separated from the light and love, which is God Almighty, who loves each and every one of you and set a, sent a part of himself down to this planet to his only begotten son, who is also God in the flesh without sin. Okay. To die for all mankind's sins horribly on that cross was buried in a tomb in, in Israel, in Joseph's garden tomb that's still there today, rising the third day. That whoever calls on his name shall be saved. It's a simple prayer like this, guys, okay? Lord Jesus, and you know, just started out like, dear God, or whatever, you know, um, or say, Lord Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner. I need forgiveness. I'm sorry for my sins. 